tires. Millions of them. Mountains that reflect man's appetite for all things road-based. Landfills are a blight on nature, and the best way to eradicate waste is to recycle it. Tires are starting to be given a new life as rubber mats. This is the idyll we all have of the countryside, but sometimes the view can be spoiled. There are around 100,000 tires in this pile. But thankfully, these tires will have a second life, as rubber mats. Each day in this factory, they recycle 15,000 tires. Tires have to be reduced to little granules. But first, this conveyor feeds the tires into the washer. Tires are washed and then sent to the shredder. The shredder, with its two rows of large teeth, makes short work of the lorry tires and grinds them up into pieces. This shredder is able to cut up almost 1,000 tires an hour. Then they're shredded a second time. With huge magnets, metal is separated from the rubber and the metal pieces are recycled at another factory. Other components of the tyres, such as fibreglass and nylon, also have to be separated. A sifter is used to get out the remaining debris. 16 tonnes of tyre particles are piled up in this recycling depot. But the pellets are still too large to be used. They're sent to a secondary shredder, where they'll be reduced even further. Intense grinding action produces a kind of rubber powder. The powder is spread out on these enormous moulds. It's seven metres long and just over a metre wide. They are then stored in this loading magazine of the press. Once full, the moulds are sent to the rubber mat press. Within this mat press, the powder has to be cooked at high temperatures for 30 minutes. The cooked mat goes through the unmolding unit before being sent off to cool. The rubber mats are still extremely hot. They're cooled with jets of water for a period of several minutes. Cooled mats can now be sent to the next department. This conveyor in the cutting centre positions the mat before it's cut. The mat is vibrated to eliminate any surplus water. Each rubber mat is now cut up into three pieces. mats are then stacked into a pile and stored before being shipped. Mud guards are also made here. These are made in the same way as the other mats. After having been cooled in water, but while they're still warm, they remove the surplus rubber in an operation called notching. Hard rubber rings are also produced at this factory with the same fabrication methods and, as always, from old used tyres. Over a 12-hour period, this facility makes no less than 12,000 rubber mats from old recycled tyres. It's good business for the company and, ultimately, for everyone else too.